This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. And back from the shadows, here we are to end the episode. Yes. Mwahahaha. So it's time for emails, right? Yes, let's so do it. delicious feedback emails. Okay, so the first one comes from Othniel. He writes, enjoyed watching episode 1111 and the idea of mounting your drive through SSH is awesome. Here's a free Windows alternative. Yeah, called WinSSH SFTP. You need do Dokken library yeah, yeah, installed. It's, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like when we were talking about Fuse. There's also can on I the call Windows it Dokken because that's kind of like Duke and Nukem. Oh, I'm thinking like Dokken. Oh my God, Hadouken. Hadouken. All right, so <laughs> you need Dokken library installed first, though, and the download link is provided in our show notes below. Thank you, Othniel, for Yay, that. Hey, that's awesome. Very interesting win SSH. I like some free stuff. Yeah. I do too. We also got one from Mike or Matt. 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 Yeah. He emailed earlier about using the technique that has become known as jump hosts. Uh, and he said, I think it would be appropriate for use with the pineapple. Instead of getting gateway ports to yes, and essentially making the pineapple visible to the internet, you could do something like SSH tech O proxy command and he gives a, the whole thing. Yeah, you do a proxy command and then you say equals quote SSH tack W localhost colon 4255 and then the address to your relay. Now do note that the host name pineapple at the end of the SSH command can be pretty much anything he thinks. Again, this could all be put in your SSH slash config file. That's a forward slash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you could do something like SSH pineapple and it will transparently take you there. You don't have to think about the relay at all at, at all afterwards. That's really cool because, you it's know, very useful. the idea is that when you enable those gateway ports, remember we were saying uh, port 4255 on relay.wifipineapple.com now right. is completely open to the internet. And when you go to it, it yes. traverses straight through mm -hmm. the tunnels over to your pineapple. So really what you've done in that case is you've exposed your pineapple's SSH interface directly to the world. What he's saying is basically using your intermediary relay server, mm -hmm. kind of like a firewall in the sense that you don't even know that it's there. In fact, we should talk about later on a little thing called port knocking so that as far as anyone's port concerned, knocking. there's no services. Knocking yeah. on the port? Yeah, well, you know, there's knockers involved. So what could go wrong? How about Florin? What did they write? <laughs> of course. Florian writes, in episode 1110, Darren talked about developing on embedded devices and removing the known host file for convenience. There is a nice shell script that automates editing the known host file at unssh.sourceforge.net. So, and then he gives us the command if you would like to. Yeah, take so it you from basically. You know, if you were to SSH into a you know root at your IP address, as I was showing with pineapple, and it gives you that big man in the middle warning, you would just do un exclamation point exclamation point or unbang bang. Oh. It will unbangify things. Anyway, you <laughs> got to check out the video on the site in SourceForge because it's pretty cool and it greets uh, and uh, wie geht's, mein uh, Freund. <laughs> wie geht's? What Was is wie geht's? It just says what's up. It's ah. Florian's auf Deutsch. Wie geht's? So. Anyway, what do you guys think? You can email us over at feedback at hack5.org or you can comment in the section below and who knows, we might bring it up on our next episode. Yeah. Coming up soon, we'll be checking out the Technolus photo of the week and we'll play, be playing a little bit of trivia. But first, let's take a really quick break. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community-inspired creations. Be sure to watch the new episodes of The Ben Heck Show every two weeks right here at revision3.com slash tbhs. In the latest episode of The Ben Heck Show, Ben uses both Android and Arduino to make another lazy man invention. Don't forget to go to element14.com slash tbhs to find out how you can enter to win the latest builds from Ben's show. Time once again for the Technolist Photo of the Week. Sure is. Darn uh, tootin'. Darn tootin'. This picture comes from John, and it is a very amazing photo of an internet password logbook. Yes, you see, slash Etsy slash passwd has an X. And it's X. a bargain buy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You could, well, I, I could imagine just put like X in all of them and then have a separate notebook <laughs> where you keep a SHA-512 encrypted one called Shadow. <laughs> that, 
I mean, it, <laughs> what? Really? I'm so really? <laughs> I, you know, does anybody actually buy this thing? I, That's a, okay, John. Uh, thank you for that picture. Like, I had so, so many laws. <laughs> like seriously, law. I mean, so many laws. Password notebooks. Brought to you by the FBI. Let's find out about trivia. Let's do that. And if you guys have photos, you can email them to feedback at hack5.org. Subject line technolist. Time for the trivia. Last week's trivia question was the IEEE 802.11 AD standard, D for dog, promises to deliver tri-band router and client adapters capable of what? Hmm. Interesting, I, huh? I don't know. The answer is wireless networking using 2.4 five and 60 gigahertz frequency bands. Use all the frequencies. Why not? Yeah. Oh, dude. Make them do did the you, thing. Did you hear about the latest IEEE? I did. The 11 thing? Yep. Damn, that's a real shame, too, because we're under embargo as we're shooting the episode. However, by the time it comes out, it will be public. However, I don't know for a fact, so I'm probably going to err on the safe side and not talk about it. However, all I'm going to say is Wi-Fi suppository. We'll talk more about it next week. Yeah. What? Okay. We'll get into it later. All right. All right, so what's this week's? This week's question is, the maximum theoretical throughput of a SATA Rev Revision 3 connection is what? All the megabits. <laughs> All the megabits. All of them. <laughs> a, a helibyte. You can answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some of my swag. Yay! And, um, and it's awesome you swag. Know, while you're over at hack5.org slash trivia, just click on one of those links at the top. There's one that uh, will take you to hack5.org slash follow, where you can find all the places where you can email us yes. and, and find our social networking goodness. Yes, I love the follow link. It has all the links. And you can also check us out at hackshop, hakshop.com, where if you feel like supporting us that way, you can get t-shirts, Wi-Fi pineapples, all sorts of hacker gadgets. Mike Osman just came out with the new Landtap Pro. You don't have to solder it at all, and it's totally awesome. It's cute. I yes. like it. I love the casing. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, I'm Looks sure very professional. That. Yeah, we got all sorts of fun stuff coming too. I'll give a shade some prototypes later. Anyway, um, without further ado, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shenanigans. <laughs> Shannon Morris, actually. I trust your technologist. Bye. Hey, we got some camera movement. Woo! Bye, camera. Waiting for you to come back. I came back. Oh, we're back already? I thought we were gone! East Wink of Y beer, Beta! It's time once again. Oh, wait, what? Uh, where are we? I don't know how we're. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's go. Let's go. Alright.